Now that the cell is assembled, we want to flow in our salt solution. To ensure that the chip is entirely wet, we're going to put in IPA and then chase that with our one molar KCL. You'll notice there are two channels inside of each well. There's a concentric channel, that's the outlet, and there is a channel at 12 o'clock. That's the channel at 12 o'clock uh, that we will use to input our solution. First thing I want to do is take my pipette tip and I'm using a 200 microliter pipette, and these tips are designed to fit nicely into our channel. I'm going to take 200 microliters of IPA, and on either side, I'm going to start injecting the solution. I'll find the inlet channel with my pipette tip, and I'll start pushing. The IPA should come out the outlet in the center, and once I see that it's roughly flush with the top face of the cell, I keep my thumb pressed and I extract the pipette. I do the same with the other side. Once IPA is flushed in both sides, you'll eject the pipette tip, get a new one, and then do the same thing with KCL. Because there's fluid already in my cell, I want to make sure that I don't inject any new bubbles. I'm going to do this by first taking 200 microliters of KCL, And I'll inject, I'll eject some of the solution even before reaching the fluid to make sure that I don't inject any bubbles. I'm going to keep pushing a little bit out into the upper well, and then I'll find the channel with my pipette tip and keep pushing. Because I'm now overflowing that upper well, I'll use my vacuum and remove the solution as I inject. I'll do this two more times, and then we'll switch sides. You can tell that the isopropanol is gone and the one molar KCL is present by the formation of that meniscus. So, one side's done. I'll turn it around and do the other side. Again, I'm being very cautious to not inject a bubble, so I'm going to inject some fluid even before getting to the channel. And then finding the channel with my pipette tip pushing down while vacuuming out the excess. And I do this two more times. So we're done injecting solution. The one thing that we want to do is remove the excess KCL. So you can see that we have a meniscus on both of them right now. And I'm going to take my vacuum tip and I'm going to vacuum it up until the liquid level is roughly the same height as the ridge inside the well. KCL is now on either well and we're ready to start. 